Hello, uh, thank you very much uh, that we were able to join uh, the conference. We are very glad to have 10 minutes uh, due to we have just only 10 minutes. It will uh, try to keep it short. So the main parts are from, and um, then if you would like to keep in touch with us, uh, then just contact us anytime. In this case, uh, what we would like to talk today about um, very short is uh, NLP, uh, natural language processing as a part of AI. I think I'm from that uh, you just know who we are. Uh, maybe just uh, 10 seconds uh, about ourselves and the company, and um, then we'll just go and try to deep dive into this topic. Uh, we are both working for Core. Uh, I'm personally, I've mentioned Core. Core uh, itself is a company, an IT company. Uh, located in Berlin. Um, we are calling ourselves for like a technology think tank. We're doing a lot of uh, technology stuff in here, but also uh, a part of us is also consulting. So as you see here also very shortly, we do all the stuff from research, we do our own research, our own group of concepts and so on, but also a lot of advisory for the industry engineering and uh, partially also operating. Uh, initially coming from the financial sector, insurance sector, but uh, in the meantime already a lot of cross industry uh, projects on our side, and um, due to be located in Berlin, a lot of European projects, uh, but also several international ones. And due to we are doing a lot of technology stuff, um, AI is also a very important topic for ourselves. Uh, initially, we started with this topic like five years ago with the first proof of concepts on our side. Since then, a lot of projects also on, on the client side, so we like just to share our experience in regards to this topic and some, some deep dives. So in this case, I would suggest that just uh, jump in directly into this topic. Um, NLP, I already mentioned, uh, but before we uh, just deep dive into NLP, just a short overview, probably a lot of you guys uh, already know the big picture about it. Um, we are talking about artificial intelligence. I think um, there is a lot of potential in the future, it's already known. And I think it's uh, also important uh, to accept and uh, to understand that uh, AI is not more a hype and uh, it's not more anymore a longer a password and uh, uh, just something to talk about, but it's a real use case. It's a pragmatic use case, which is already um, established in the industry uh, through all the industries. Um, so it's very important. That's why we're also here to talk about the situation right now, because as I mentioned, it's uh, currently Behind the hype, it's all about like uh, how to produce um, this technology, in this case, especially MLP, what are um, yeah, the potentials over here, and uh, in which use case it's like really sense to start doing this uh, already today. On the right side, a short overview of uh, what's MLP all about, um, especially if you're talking about MLP, it's uh, more often a combination of the AI, machine learning, it turns of MLPL, and uh, at the bottom you see also several. Just an example of the advantages of uh, NLP. I mean, especially with NLP, you will be able to streamline the processes. Um, so a lot of automation can, can happen with uh, NLP. Um, you will be also able probably to do yeah, for the ability much easier to analyze automatically text and uh, all situations. So you have also some, some possibility to understand that the better in case um, you're um, B2C driven, your customer, but also in your market. And uh, I think you will see also the, let's say, the real use case potential later on in the presentation. So here's just more an overview, um, what is the NLP all about and um, why it really makes sense to, to go for it already today. In this case, I would suggest we jump in directly into this topic and I will try to turn it over to you. Um, yeah. Natural language processing has made a vast progress over the last uh, four years, actually, which is mainly due to te the technology increases behind it. Um, in 2017, a paper on so-called um, attention mechanism, with, which gives the models the opportunity to attend with uh, specific words to other words in a text, um, made a vast progress. Um, this was the basic for a so-called transformer, which are the basic elements of networks today. So um, natural language processing today is based on mainly on deep learning. And um, the more you increase the size of such models, the more learning capacity those models get. So uh, over the last four years, there's also been some kind of race between mainly main companies like Google, OpenAI, and uh, Microsoft um, for the largest models and uh, like Getting to the getting to sizes like GPT three or 
um, uh, switch transformer from Google with um, over one trillion parameters in those models. And they have very interesting uh, properties. Like one of them, which is most, uh, most interesting for guys who want to use those models. Also with few learning steps, they, because they can generalize very good, are already good um, from, uh, from a training perspective for your problem. Um, so there are a vast array of applications actually, which we which just listed a subset of them on the left hand side. But more interesting actually from a user perspective is um, which of those applications are already in place today or are developed today. So just gave uh, also a subset of applications uh, which are pro processed today. One of them uh, could be um, aid allocate, which um, uh, which analyze the discussions on social media, um, which contain information from an emotional standpoint, like from an opinion standpoint about your um, uh, company. And uh, to be able to um, evaluate or analyze those opinions automatically is very interesting. Second thing would be um, also an interesting standpoint is JP Morgan. They have a lot of effort they put on their lawyers, but a lot of effort is on uh, text review or document review, legal document review. And they were able to optimize or support their um, review um, by um, usage of natural language processing models. Um, so when you want to get those models into, uh, into production at your company, what would you have to do? Obviously, on the one hand side, you would need those models to run. Um, at, uh, at your infrastructure, but this means like the models you can get mostly open source, so there's less effort than you think, but then you have to, would have to get the whole value chain, which means models on the one hand side, the machine learning frameworks, which embed those models with their methods in your environment, but I think you would have one or two already in place at your company. Data processing, which means taking data out of your data storage, putting it into a process, and get it back, get uh, results back and write them uh, back again. Databases, obviously you would have to have some, you have already some database in, in case at your company. Um, architecture, which means how to arrange all those elements. And in the end, um, infrastructure, but I think like most of companies already had that discussion on cloud infrastructure. So I don't think this would be a problem. So technical level is discussed, but what, what is with your organization? Because you have to embed those processes. It will alter your processes up to some point. So you have to embed those in your company. Let's let's go with management. Um, they, given the hype around um, machine learning and AI, um, they have some expectations, overachieving, underachieving uh, applications. So there has to be clear communication and what to expect of, of your project. Second user, you would have to alter the process to some point, to some degree. So um, uh, so see how you implement those models in a very user-friendly way. So users are willing to use those, which means a lot of business analysis. And in the end, when you are done with your implementation, this will be one of your more complicated applications. So see to get operations early um, uh, into the project. So the knowledge is already there. So framework you would have to, you would use to implement those projects would have to have all those three layers, which means methods and models, easier than you think, technology and infrastructure, depending on what you have right now, and culture, which is often more complicated than you think. And we at Core obviously have a standard process for this. We call it the seven core steps. It's in, it's inspired or mainly focused based on cost socket CRISPR-M, which is standard model for um, data mining, but we focus more on those other two layers. So in the past, we um, used it, obviously, um, in several projects, but three of them we have here as examples. First one we picked out was um, financial platform based. Uh, it's an app where you can aggregate um, financial uh, information, loyalty cards, and banking accounts. So this gives us data of the customer. They get some kind of timeline for that bank, financial timeline. But we can give them tips based on their behavior we can, we can see on, the, on this data. Um, next thing, which, which is even which is more natural language processing focused, would be we are in contact with publishers in Germany. So journalists obviously have a lot of contact uh, contact with text, and we want to um, lower their the effort they have to put in to get text running. And obviously, we we offer this to customers, but we also use the models ourselves. 
we produce a lot of text in the form of slides. We developed our own searching solution for advanced search searching solution for text and slides. So in the end, this means that we uh, have some do's and don'ts we want to share with you. It means smart, start small, try fast, get it running and see how it works in the real application. See, um, see how user use them. It's different with AI models because they have a other kind of expectation from those applications, so monitor it in the long, in long run. Don't bend the process around the model, but see how you can actually user-friendly integrate the model into the target process. And in the end, uh, start with your use case, not the, not the model. Don't try to find use case around the model. Try to find a use case and see what model fits. In this case, uh, given the time, um, I would uh, say uh, the main, main point I think in this discussion was uh, that I said you just uh, let's uh, try it out. You should start right now. I think there is a lot of potential with regards to NLP. And uh, yeah, given the time, I would say thank you for the opportunity from our side also to be part of the conference. And uh, please just reach out to us anytime. Thank you very much.